Hello, yo. welcome back to my channel. My name's Kim. I'm going to be doing a past life reading, um, which is a past life incarnation that's affecting you from the 15th to the 31st of May in this lifetime. Um, this maybe help you move forward or um, give you some more in-depth meaning of what's going on around this period of time. Now, I have picked a past life card here from the past life deck. It's about having trust and faith. So uh, this could be um, you being very spiritual in a past life, Leo, and um, maybe you were a bit religious back then, but you did believe in God and um, things that were positive. You, you love the constellations. You love to travel. That type of um, energies are coming through. Now, your past life of description of what you looked like back in that lifetime I do believe that you were female, that you had uh, olive or tan skin, very robust look, but very beautiful exotic flair about you, dark flowing hair, and you were a foreign background. The past life location where you lived, I'm feeling with the stars here was under the Northern Star, and this was a place called Blackwater in Queensland in Australia. I strongly feel that was where you lived. Now, your past life personality, the kind of person you were, you were a very safe person, very trustworthy and very spiritual, very uh, spiritually knowledgeable too. Now, your past life and your current relationship today, which is a relationship that you're carrying forward in this lifetime, is with the heart. And this is the king of hearts. And this is uh, a male that uh, has a heart-shaped face and brown hair and very kind and loving and generous type of person now your past life purpose and what your soul's purpose about your old life was was that um, your past life purpose is the ring so um, what you loved about your old life is that you had strong bonds with your family and that you were very committed and stay committed and true to what you wanted to do. So if you made a promise, you stuck to that promise without breaking the chains here. Now, your past life passion and what you did um, love about your old life was that you were very physical. Uh, you loved working out and you'd done this repetitively. And uh, maybe, you know, you come across with muscles and that type of um, body. Uh, your past life death and how your old life passed away was the clouds here. And this is to do with somebody that uh, has lung problems, maybe through smoking. Um, and sometimes it does represent bipolar, but I'm strongly feeling it was connected to your lungs. So it could have been um, something that was airborne that, like emphysema from smoking or um, you uh, sort of adapted some sort of um, pollution uh, that infected your lungs from airborne diseases as well. Now, with um, your life lesson and what you, you did learn from your old life was the bear hair and this is how to be courageous and take control of your life. So, you know, if you were dying from um, a lung disease, you were being very courageous and come across that you, you had a lot of strength and courage in front of people, but that may not have been the case when you were by yourself. Now, your unresolved issues from your past life is the tower, and these are the worries and concerns that you carried into this life. So maybe um, you were worried about being lonely or left alone or abandoned um, because you put a lot of restrictions and boundaries around you here Leo and you do have um, one card from the romance oracle deck is about getting to know each other as you reveal your most inner selves to each other so this is a person that is coming back into your life that you were with in a in this prior lifetime if you're not already with them now now your present um, Life purpose, what you need to accomplish uh, sorry, accomplish in this lifetime is the scythe. 
So it's about you implementing new ideas. It's about cutting off a situation or a person or people that no longer serve you and harvesting what does serve you. Your advice card here uh, is the garden. So this is possibly telling you to go more to the countryside and get out into nature. Um, going to like-minded places where like-minded people go. So if you go going to concerts, it's like-minded people that go there. If you're just going for coffee with friends, that's going to make you happy. But it's a public place where you need to go to. Now, I have picked um, the Romance Oracle deck, and it's about getting to know each other. So as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond will deepen because this is what you loved in the past here. Leo, you love the connection with family, and if you made a promise, you kept that promise. You didn't break that chain. So your bond's going to deepen with this person if it hasn't already. If you, you can see the lady in the background here, she's of dark tan, uh, sort of robust. Um, she's got that freedom look about her. So maybe there was a child invo involved in the past here. You had a daughter as well. Now, I have picked a card from the Animal Tarot deck, and this is about you um, being ambitious and wise. So it is about... Um, being inspired and doing things in a dramatic way. Now, the inspiration comes through the cards of the star. So it is the Katanga Lion. And I see that you just need to be take that control back of your life with the bear here. You are wearing the red in this card here. It's depicted as the leader. And you're standing taller than the tree. So it's telling you that it's time to, to step up to a leadership role. Don't back away from the spotlight. With the star here, this is a spotlight. And uh, as your plans will be successful, but you need to stay focused upon the big picture here, Leo. So if there's something that uh, is related to a career matter, it's telling you to do it in a dramatic way because you're being inspired by this person. So if you're single and you have just met this person, they are from your past life. And they're going to inspire you. They're going to bring back the traits and, and the beautiful um, commitments and uh, talents that you had from the past. And this is going to bring you money. And it's about having trust and faith in this person because you are very spiritual. You have three cards here that are very uh, connected to the spiritual realm. So you've got uh, spiritual journeys. You've got the divine that's intervening. And um, whatever your dreams have been, in the past incarnation they're now in your reach so i hope this is going to be beneficial for you for the last two weeks of may um, this is one of your past lives coming through and affecting this lifetime and um it just remember it is for a small majority of you so i hope it does reach the person it's meant to reach all the people and um that you've enjoyed this reading love and blessings to you all leo and i will see you back very shortly. Bye now.